Hi, I'm Nadine Bata, and on behalf of Tomorrow's Technician and Continental Belts and Hose, I'd like to introduce our November 2021 Student of the Month. Katie Juarez is an 11th grade automotive student at Bullard Havens Technical High School in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Katie excels academically and in her automotive trade. A proud National Honor Society member, as well as a student ambassador for Harbor Freight Tools for Schools, Katie is credited as a bright, positive person with an excellent attitude and drive to learn. As a part of the Bullard Havens Automotive Work-Based Learning Program, Katie was hired this past spring by a local Land Rover dealership. Her Land Rover mentor describes her as an excellent apprentice. Welcome to Katie Juarez. Katie, what first inspired you to take automotive classes? Um, that's a good question. Um, what inspired me to take automotive classes was just the experience, like the close experience that I had when I when in the automotive. And one experience was when I was young. I was probably like eight, I think it was. And I would see my dad like fix up old cars, old trucks and stuff like that. And it just it made me want to like learn and like experience what it's like to like to use my hands with a, like a wrench or something. And it just made me want to like experience it and to like see what it's like, you know what I mean? So I, I chose it because I looked up to my dad and it's something that I wanted to learn more about. So. That's amazing. What has your journey as a Harbor Freight's Tools for Schools ambassador been like? Um, the journey for me as an HF Tools for Schools ambassador has been a very cool experience because I had the opportunity to meet the creators of the company and I got to meet like so many other students around, like, around the United States, like across the United States. And it's just like, it was a really good experience. And I was very honored because the way it came about was my teacher, Roxanne, she came to me and she saw that I had a potential and that I was really strong with my words and was very passionate about the automotive industry. So she gave me the opportunity to speak about, speak about the automotive industry from my point of view, from the student point of view. So that was actually pretty amazing. I love that. How challenging has it been to get a taste of the workforce while in your junior year? Tell us a little bit about your internship. I mean, as a junior in the workforce, it gets really difficult because it's your third year of high school. And sometimes that's the time where you have to focus on college applications and you have to like do this and you have to do that. So it gets really challenging for me. So when I first started working at Land Rover, I, I was kind of like a little overwhelmed because I would miss days in school, like like um, materials, like things we're learning because I'm over there. And sometimes I'm in school and I forget how to do the things in Land Rover too. So it gets really complicated, but now I'm like learning how to balance it and making sure that I'm here at this time and then this day I'm here at that time. Like I like try to like be flexible with my time so I don't like overwork myself and like be overwhelmed. So. It's great that you were able to find that balance. What has been one of your favorite projects to work on in the past? So my favorite project to work on is for changing brakes. And there's a reason why. It's kind of a good and bad, but I like it because I overcame it. So when we were, when we were first doing like brakes, we were on these training like little cart thingies. And I remember my caliper wouldn't like go in, like it just wouldn't go in. And I remember having a whole mental breakdown that I couldn't do it and I kept getting mad. And then I kept getting like mad because everybody else could do it. Like everybody had it down. Everybody was on like the fourth step already and I'm over here still fighting with a caliper. And I remember Miss Amy, she like came to me and like she saw that I was getting frustrated and she like pulled me aside and she was like, okay. You can't get the caliper down. So take a moment, breathe, rethink, and like, like, how you say, retrace your steps. Like, what did you do? And like, and she gave me tips on how to do it right. And so I remember I came back, right? And I was like, okay, round two, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, right? And I remember I did it and I stood there and I like, I, she taught me something and I like put it back in and it was like the best feeling in the world because it's like, I know that I was struggling with it. Like, I know that I couldn't do it, but I overcame it. And it's just the feeling of like overcoming it was like why I made it like the best project that I ever done. So, and now I'm like not even hesitate to do um, brakes or rotors anymore. So I'm like really grateful. 
That's fantastic. Katie, before you go, can you tell us your plans for the future? Oh, this is a good question, because this is one of the questions that came up in the meetings with um, HF. So one of my plans that I want to do like in the future is to keep being a, a woman in the in male industry. Like I want to push for that. Like I want to show people that girls could do it too, that like we're capable of doing the same thing as a male could do. You know what I mean? And just pushing it and just opening a pathway for other girls that want to learn how to do it. Not, even, not just automotive, but like a male dominated trade. That's awesome, Katie. Thank you. Katie's instructor, Roxanne, says, uh, Katie is a wonderful student. I've had many students over the years. Uh, she really takes initiative. She's bright. Um, and she immediately caught the eye. We had interviews um, with our dealerships coming in last April, and she really caught the eye. Um, and when she went out and job shadowing of uh, Ted Orzetti from Land Rover, um, executive Land Rover for, of North Haven, and they're a very professional place. And she caught their eye and she did it herself with her cover letter, her resume, her demeanor. Um, she's very positive, she's very bright, she's very articulate, and um, she does well in auto. And she's just like a perfect fit for your student of the month because she has all the pieces put together. And I'm so proud of her and what she does here in the school, but also at her dealership. So she's doing that. She's also enrolled in our College Pathways program. So right now she's earning the automotive college credits with our, you know, Gateway Community College. So she's doing that as well. And she's a National Honor Society member. So she's like the full package. She's the full automotive person, automotive student. Um, and I just love everything that she does right now and how she applies herself. Thanks, Roxanne. Katie, once again, on behalf of Tomorrow's Technician and Continental, congratulations on being named Student of the Month and good luck with everything moving forward. Instructors, if you have the next Student of the Month in your classroom, please nominate him or her today. Just go to tomorrowstechnician.com to find the entry form. I'm Nadine Batat, and I'll talk to you again soon.